Rheology is very important in manufacturing of almost any coating equipment for the fluid industry. So when we look at what is rheology and how is it important for our, our application, we need to know two basic things. One is, is it Newtonian or polymeric? And two is, what is its behavior as it goes through the dye? That can be defined by a very simple test that's run. And the test method that we typically look at is ASTMD4440. If you want to look that up, it's basically an oscillatory system or a capillary system that takes your fluid, puts it through, looks at a range of torques that you can put on a fluid as it goes through a very tight, narrow opening. So when you look at a slot die, what does it uh, have? It has anywhere from 1 to 10,000 reciprocal seconds, or 1 to 10,000 hertz, of shear put upon that fluid. If we can understand how that fluid reacts within that area, we can definitely interpolate what's going on, simulate the response, and design a die that's optimum for the product. If you're looking at designing the die and you don't have that full range of material, it's dangerous because if you start extrapolating, you could have something that looks Newtonian for a while, but then it starts to shear thin when it starts to get into the higher levels of shear stress. So what I would say is when you're designing the die or when you're looking for someone to design a die for you, make sure that you have a full understanding of that fluid as it goes through the slot die system, all the way from the tank, the pump, the hoses, all the way to the die, and then you can worry about how it exits and how it looks as you're making your final product. Mark's Coding Matters is a popular blog on paper, film, and foil converter online. To view further articles, visit pffc-online.com or the technical content section at slotdies.com.